What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP comes out with another how-to. Today we have a 2005 Chevy Tahoe with the Bose system, and I'm going to show you how to take these speakers out in less than 10 minutes. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing because these are the things that we do here: car audio tutorials, radio removals, Q and A's, all that good stuff. First thing you want to do is you want to stick your panel removal tool right there. Pop that little clip. Uh oh, there's another one, but you see there's two clips right here and then the other part just kind of folds in. That's the first thing that needs to go. Next, we can come down here with that same panel removal tool and we want to get this little clip out. There's that clip right there and there's that piece. Now, next, what you want to do right over here on the other side, this is just the cap over the screw. Yes, as you can see, this is just the cap that goes over this. It is a T20 torque, but we will get to the screws here. We'll get, we'll get to that screw in a little bit. Next, you wanna come behind here. You, you use the same panel removal. I like using this little flat profile. Come right here from the back. And let's do this side. Pop that out, because we have one seven mil right there. We also have another seven mil right here that's up under the handle. And the last seven mil is on the bottom of the door panel right here. So we have one, two, three sevens, and one T20 torque. Let's go ahead and take those out. All right, guys, so now that we got all the screws out, we wanna take our pen and removal tool, come back here to the back. And there's like a little clip back here on this thing that's around. That goes in there. And you just wanna take that, slide that part off of there. So now that we have all that, this whole door panel just lifts up, lifts up, pulls out. Now here is where we're going to detach all of our harnesses. So now we got all those done. We just set our door panel over here to the side. There's actually no screws needed for that. You literally just press down on this little tab right here. It's gonna fold out. And we have this speaker harness that we just press a little button on the front. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take all my door panels off and then put the speakers on all at the same time so we not just do one door at a time. So now that we got the front off, let's go back here to the back and take off the back door. The back door is pretty much the same concept, but you do not need the torques because it only has uh, two seven mils. So we're gonna go ahead and take our flat profile and pop off that piece again. There is no seven mil behind there, so don't worry about it. Take that same little flat profile, come up here and pop that little bad boy out. Because literally this thing is just, it just holds up from you trying to actually take the door panel off. But we still have that 7 mil right here that needs to come out. And we also have one more 7 mil at the bottom of the door right here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and take those out. Alright, so now that we have those two 7 mils out, we just lift up on the door like we did the last one. We only have one harness and that is this one that's going to the little window lock. Now that we have that out, we just want to take that door panel off, sit it right here by the tire. The rear speakers, they are a five and a quarter inch speaker and they actually are held in by screws. Right here I have a uh, quarter inch uh, socket on my shank and we're just going to go ahead and take these out. speaker comes out same thing disconnect the speaker harness press down that button comes out boom and the main reason I'm able to keep this video under 10 minutes is because I have all the proper parts. So we've already uh, took the front door panel off. We've taken the rear door panel off. Now I'm only doing the driver side. So all in all, if you guys are doing all four speakers, then it's probably going to take you 20 minutes. But at the same time, that's better than two hours worth of work. So we got our five and a quarter speaker right here. It's just a kicker speaker. But the most important thing is that we have this speaker harness. It's taking out all the guesswork so we don't have to figure out what's positive, what's negative all that good stuff all we have to do is come up here we take our harness and we plug it in to the old one we can do it with one hand boom so we got that on 
The positive uh, is white, the negative is black. It already has terminals on it. And then all we literally have to do, guys, is mount that thing back up and put the, uh, and put the screws back in. That's it for that, and now we just have to go to the front and do the front speaker. Back in and we have the speaker harness hooked up, and don't worry, I have all these uh, links in the description for you guys, and if you're on Patreon, I will actually uh, give you the exact model numbers that you have, just like in the links in here, but I will tell you which speaker wire is positive and negative, and I will actually give you the wire diagram. That way, if you don't want to use this part and you need to tap into it, then you have that as well. Now, these speaker harnesses, is very they're very important because, like I said, we're able to cut down our install time and with these bracket all we did is I just took four screws and I just screwed them into the bracket you put the bottom piece in the here in the holes and then this snaps in place like that and then we're gonna take a self tapper and I'm going to go ahead and put my self tapper into those holes right there just so we can have just so it can be more secure as right, guys so you can see I got the self tappers in there the thing is not moving and honestly that's pretty much it so if you found any type of value in this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to be up on that patreon baby till next time this is your boy JP signing out